Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. This video takes you through the steps for migrating rule projects from ODM 8.6 to 8.10x. We use WebSphere 8.5 on DB2.10.5. I will first show you the initial setup. In the Decision Center Enterprise Console, we see that there are three classic rule projects. ODM 8.6 uses default data source name. I will show you the current configuration of the data source and database on the WAS admin console. Here we can see the names of the database and the data source. We also see the driver type value. For this demonstration, I'm using a DB2 database. The first step in our migration is to address the prerequisites. Start by upgrading the application server to at least WAS 8.5.11 and then install Java 8 for ODM 8.10. If you have already done this, skip this part of the video. To install Java 8, we first need to upgrade our WebSphere application server to at least version 8.5.11. Click on the link to open the download page. Download the three parts, extract them into a single folder, launch IBM Installation Manager and add the repository. Select Update. Select your installed version of WebSphere Application Server 8.5 and proceed with the update. We are now ready to install GDK 8 in our WAS. Click on the link to open the download page. Download the zip and add the repository to IBM Installation Manager. Select Install. Select Java version 8 for your WAS version. We now change the JDK on our server using the manage SDK command. We will now create the new DB2 user for Decision Center 810 database. Name it ODM810. Click on Change Account Type. Change the account type to Administrator. We will now add the ODM810 user to the DB2 Users group. Right click on your ODM810 user and select Properties. Go to Member of tab. Add group DB2 Users and click on Check Names. Now we change the configuration of Decision Center 8.6 in the WAS console to prepare the deployment of Decision Center 8.10, which will then use the default configuration on the data source name. Start by opening your WebSphere console. In the left column, open WebSphere Enterprise application and click on Team Server WAS 8.5. Select Context Root for Web Modules. Rename Team Server on Decision Center to Team Server 8.6 on Decision Center 8.6. Change data source name on JNDI name to ODM86. Now you can continue accessing Decision Center 86 by using its new name. Proceed with the deployment of the ODM810 Decision Center here file from the WAS console. For J2C authentication data, declare the ODM810 user you created. 
use default data source on JNDI name. Start your ODM Decision Center 810 application. By default, classic rule projects are not displayed in the business console. Click on your server name, then on process definition. Click on Java Virtual Machine. and add the property under Generic JVM Arguments. Now you'll be able to see the classic rule project in the 810 Decision Center Business Console. Complete the configuration of Decision Center 810. Log on the Enterprise Console. The installation wizards opens. Generate and execute the schema creation script. There are two kinds of different migration, one step or progressive. We will now show you the one step migration. Edit the team server on task properties file and change the port value, RTS admin account information on other parameters. Execute the on task gen migration role. Execute the script as a DB2 administrator. Execute the on task gen migration script. Execute generated script. You can now log on your business console and see your three migrated projects. We will now show you the steps for a progressive migration. If you decide to do a progressive migration, delete the projects that are not ready for migration. Log on ODM 810.1 Enterprise Console. Go to Configure tab, then click on Erase Current Project. Repeat same step with any other project you don't want to migrate. When ready to migrate a set of projects, generate the script using the on-task genprog migration script and execute it using the on-task execute schema. You can now log on your business console and see your three migrated projects. For any question, don't hesitate to contact IBM Support. We are here to help you. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.